Welcome back to the Gopher Dynasty. We are in week five of season five in what might be the last season. I don't think it will be, but I will probably do a little hiatus and do some Madden stuff, maybe a little back and forth, because uh, I think people are itching for some Madden streaming as well. But um, yeah, we've got a great season going. We're 3-0. Oh, we're ranked third. Let's review our stats before we hop in. So Lions Hutchinson. Lions hanging out in the chat. Good to see you, QB1. 500 yards, five touchdowns, no interceptions yet this year. Making an impact in the ground as well. Went off with his legs against Ohio State. Is he the next Kyler Murray there at 5'9"? Just might be. And then the receiving talents here, Jonathan Mann, Chuck Finley doing their thing. Trip Ratcliffe getting involved as well. 89 is a sophomore. Vincent Pate, also 89 as a sophomore. Both those guys, patrons. Nick Sturkey, uh, these patrons really starting to show uh, our top defensive players. So uh, Nick has five sacks this season. He's been crushing it as a junior there. And then we've got four different players with interceptions. So all around a great start to the season. As far as the recruiting goes, I'm going to need a little recap here, but I think we're on track for another good year in the recruiting department. Yes, so we're competing for Mike Manning, who is like this do-it-all QB, maybe receiver prospect, but he looks like a total stud. So we're competing with, what school is it? Notre Dame for him. We are in pretty good shape with some of these other guys. They're sorted pretty well, so we've got our priorities in line. I think we could even clear up a little more there with Nathan Brooks. And then, yeah, we're looking pretty good with these guys. Not a whole lot to change as far as the recruiting goes. Um, let's just put those towards Sean Parker, and then we have two guys ready for a visit. So Nick Wharton, we're lucky to just get him in here. Let's put him in here week 11. Maybe we could get him to commit before he goes on all those other visits. And let's make that Nebraska week a big recruiting week. Nebraska's ranked 11th. Uh, so we do have to do a lot of simming here. We decided to play against Purdue and Wisconsin at the end of the season. Purdue is that revenge game this year after they went to the national championship with four losses, for God's sake. Uh, so it's Rutgers this week. We should be able to win this one. Okay, so hoping for the best here. Not expecting any hiccups. There it is, 37-14. We continue to roll. Good job, Lions. Good job, QB1. Okay, no commits this week. Uh, Josh has committed to Oregon. I can't remember if we were pursuing him all that hard. Trip coming in big time with the subs. Five gifted subs from our... Slot wide receiver. Let's go, Trip. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. As always. So really nothing to change with the recruiting here this week. Although maybe we want to take some points away from these guys. Oh my goodness, Lions. Ten gifted subs. Holy crap, you guys. Wow, Merry Christmas me. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. I'm going to I'm going to mute the desktop audio because this is just going to keep coming. <laughs> but yeah, I want to borrow some points to increase our chances at Sean Parker there. We got two more guys ready for a visit. Let's see. Nebraska, they're kind of competing for guys there. Get them in week 8. No problem. All right. Literally everyone is a sub now. <laughs> hey, QB1 is, is dishing out. Everyone gets a touch this week, I suppose. <laughs> Lions and Trip are now in contention for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. <laughs> Davey Jones, that's a great comment. Let's see our stats against Rutgers. Lions actually not the best day. 172 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Kai Thomas going off out here. 
He's a beast. Receiving game, Jonathan Mann keeps it up. Chuck Finley quiet. Defensively, we get a sack from Weldert. Our safety, Dixon, gets a pick. And J.B. Mills gets a pick. So more defense than offense, I would say. And we got a sim against Iowa. This is definitely scary. It's unfortunate that we have to do all this simming. But we've built such a good team. Hold the faith. Ah, oh. That's all right, guys. It's early. It's early. And we only lost by four. Lions let us down, though. They really made us, uh, they really built up the anticipation on that one. We're still going to win the national championship, guys. I can feel it. We'll still be in the top ten. We'll creep our way up. We lose another safety to North Carolina, but I don't think we were recruiting him. And another guy to Wisconsin again. I don't think we were recruiting. So we're still in the top ten. We'll be fine, guys. We'll be fine. Purdue went to the national championship with four losses last year. So, yeah, the guys we lost, we weren't, uh, we weren't really going after. So... No problem there. Still spending all of our points. I don't see anything that we got to change. Let's just check on visits, I suppose. Although this corner, we keep falling behind. I feel like we should we should find some more opportunities to throw points his way. Notre Dame is going after Mike Manning hard. Three more guys ready for a visit. That Nebraska week, going to be big. Okay. So what happened against Iowa? Did Lions let us down? What, what happened there? We only scored 17 points. Yeah, Lions... Struggling to move the ball a little bit. Run game was heavy. I mean, look at all those carries we had. Definitely starting to get a little worried about the passing game here with Lions. And Jack Barr's been good when he's played, so. And Jack Barr just showed up for the, uh, just showed up in the chat. He's like, hey, I'm waiting. So Lions has always been the guy we've wanted to play. But Jack Barr is the one that's developed much better. He's actually six overall better. He came in for one throw against Ohio State. Looked pretty good. So I think we give Lions another week, but definitely something to consider if we don't dominate here against Western Michigan. But let's advance Northwestern next week. 34-13. to 13. I think Lions may have kept his job this week. All right, commits have started to roll in. We get Josh Morrow. We get Nathan Brooks. A couple of top prospects there. But we are losing some guys. We'll have to find out if any of them are big guys we are looking at. So we're already ranked six, guys. Again, not panicking. Let's see how uh, Lions performed here. Jack Barr, I need to request a transfer. I know Jack Barr both years has outdone Lions in the progression. Two picks this week for Lions. Still not pretty. Kai Thomas is going off. There's Chuck Finley showing up. Defensively, four sacks for Gage Keys. Holy hell. What a week. Two picks there. So the defense... Do we have any Heisman contenders? I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, Lions is in there for the Heisman race. It's because of the rushing numbers. This is like Tua and Jalen Hurts. Let's see who we lost. We've been locked out there. We lost a couple guys here, DNs. I think we were, I, I lose track of these names. We definitely weren't recruiting Darren Patterson. I think we were recruiting those DNs. But let's just uh, load up on the guys we're going after. And then we have enough points to add someone else here. Let's, let's find uh, 
someone that's not getting recruited too heavily and go after him. What YouTubers do I watch? I watch Brett. I watch Zach Shomler, Strong Opinion Sports. I'll occasionally watch a C4 vid. Soft Drink Sports. That's kind of the short list. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and add you, you, and you. Let's do a quick scouting and see. Uh, I'm just not crazy about those guys we just added. Let's see if we can find anyone else. Hi, dog. Sure. Hi, Teddy. You want to be a stream star? Hi, Chad. Let's go ahead and add Jason Simmons. He looks like an intriguing athlete. And we'll scout this big six foot five receiver. 83 speed, no thank you. You won't make this team. Ooh, okay, here we go. So this guy is maybe a running back. Maybe a receiver, but let's, I guess go like right there. And let's just put those points there, I guess. Got one guy ready for a visit. Yes, Ace Spencer, that insta-commit four-star trash receiver we got, he's going to get cut immediately. He doesn't have the work ethic we need to make this team. Okay, against Northwestern. 28-16, good job. Good job. Getting closer to being able to play these games, guys. So no new recruits ready for a visit. Mike Manning survived the Notre Dame visit. That's a big deal because that was his best chance of committing to Notre Dame. So he's coming to see us this week. We're in good shape with all these guys. Gerard Lewis is starting to get recruited a little bit there. So let's start throwing some points his way. And throw some points at uh, Jason Simmons. No new guys ready for visit. So we can go ahead and advance against Nebraska. Getting closer to playing. We got Illinois, bye week, Maryland. Then we have Purdue and Wisconsin to finish up the season. So I think if we can get past Nebraska here, I think we can beat Illinois and Maryland. Come on. Woohoo! Let's go. That was huge. 34-31. I told you guys we could survive that Iowa loss. It was only a four-point loss to a good Iowa team. Whew. All right. I'm feeling better now. And the visit week pays off. We get three, four, five, six, seven commits. We stay ranked fourth, but we have 0-7 Illinois. So let's just look at our recruiting. Probably just going to max out the guys that we do want we just looked at guys that aren't getting recruited heavily and didn't find anyone all that appealing but mike manning we take the lead there so pretty basic here let's just throw these points around i guess we have so many points let's just take a flyer on somebody here there's a number one running back's only 73 percent out of Washington. Guess it doesn't hurt to just try and get someone in this group. We don't need another quarterback. There's a guy. Well, that was worth it. Let's see if these guys are any good. Holy crap, there's a gem. And he's really good. He's a D-back. Okay. I like what I see there. This guy's good. And this guy's pretty good. Okay. It gets, that makes some things interesting there. We'll see if we can scrap our way up for those dudes. Hey, we just got a four-star running back. Accidentally. Might as well just split up the rest of these points with these guys. 
All right, taking on 0-7 Illinois. Let's see the box score from last week. Teddy's like falling asleep, but he won't lie down. Lie down, buddy. Lie down. So a close 34-31 win. The Big Ten is not nearly what it was last year. Dang, Lions must have got injured in this one. Your boy Jack Barr steps in, plays great. I wonder if he's injured. That that would be quite the development there. It's nice to have two quarterbacks that we like. At least we got that. Um, but defensively, it was a lot of defense. So Vincent Pate goes off this week. Three F, three TFLs. Gage Keys follows up, follows up his four sack performance with another sack and then an interception for JB Mills. I don't think we had anyone get injured there, but let's just uh, let's just make sure. Oh, the forced QB controversy, guys. Lions goes down with a broken ass for four weeks. And Jack Barr is going to get a Tom Brady-esque Drew Bledsoe opportunity here. All right, Jack. Let's see what you got. Beat Illinois. Ooh, 44 to 14. Yikes for Lions. This really is a Tua uh, Jalen Hurts situation. <laughs> I can't believe he literally. That's going to be such a great joke. Lions literally let the team down by breaking his ass. Wow, we climbed all the way up to number one on Travis Andrews who looks like a stud. Let's get uh, this guy in here against Wisconsin. But we can pretty much max out everyone that we have left here. Pretty basic as far as the recruiting goes. This guy's locked us out. And that's gonna be the breadth of our recruiting there. Let's take a look at the stats. Clemson's ranked number one. We should probably take a look at the uh, top standings and see what kind of chance we have for this championship push. But Jack Barr, in his first full start, goes four touchdowns, does throw a pick, not the end of the world. Was that Jake? Jake Antony gets in there instead of Kai Thomas. Interesting. The receivers haven't quite been going off as much as they did last year with uh, Anikstad's last season. One of the Schmidt bros gets their first sack. Pretty quiet stats considering the blowout there. Let's just look at our season stats, though. So... The... <laughs> The walk-on quarterback has a 416 QB rating, guys. He comes in and throws a touchdown. Um, so Jack Farrell has been the better quarterback passing between the two after Lyons breaks his ass for four weeks. The rushing... Oh, Kai Thomas is injured, so that's why Jake Antony got in. Okay. Maybe we should move Lions to running back if uh, <laughs> if we're going to be out our QB for a while there. Uh, receiving game, yeah, just not as not as explosive this year. Defensively, holy crap, Vincent Pate, have a season. Gage Keys, Nick Sturkey's been quiet. He's only at five sacks considering he started with five in the first three weeks. Three picks, though, for David Joseph, J.B. Mills playing well. So let's look at the top 25 polls. This has us up to number three with Louisville and Clemson, who are both in the ACC. Oh, wait, Louisville's not in the ACC in this world. So that's a problem. We need one of those guys to lose. But I think Louisville will lose. They're 91 overall. Uh, but as long as that happens and we win out, I think we'll, we'll make it. West Virginia's also undefeated. Got to keep our eye on that. 
Heisman watch. Obviously fell off there. And then how about that injury to Kai Thomas? Oh, he's out for the season. Dang. That sucks. He was having a great season. So running back, I think we have... It is a big drop-off there. Jake Antony. So... Huh. We could pull the red shirt on our number one... We'll, we'll see how Jake Antony does, but uh, that's just all around unfortunate. I do wonder what overall... Lines is only a 63 as a running back, so not going to do that. But that's definitely a loss. Luckily, we only have to play... We only have to sim one more time, and that's against Maryland, and then we play the final two games. So as long as we can beat Maryland, we'll be all right. All right, we get Sean Parker. No one commits to anyone else. We stay ranked third. We get an upgrade to our offensive coordinator. Ooh, we can get another athlete boost. That's big. All right, so the recruiting, we're trying to claw up here for this running back. The rest of these guys, might as well offer Bobby a scholarship and max him out. Jason Simmons, ready for a visit. Let's get him in against Wisconsin. So Wisconsin's ranked 18th. Maryland is a 90, so it's no lock. But if we win this, I like our chances. Purdue did get ranked. That'll help. Come on, beat Maryland. I'm nervous. No! Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Jack Barr lets us down. Ah. Start the walk-on freshman over Jack Barr. Man. That just sucks. How do we lose? That's going to destroy us in the polls, too. Will the Bengals run into the issue like the Falcons did where the relationship is too strong between the quarterback and head coach? You can't fire the head coach when it's necessary. I don't know if it's necessarily a relationship thing, but I do think the Bengals are too dumb to realize that Zach Taylor is not an elite head coach when they could really swing for the fences and get like a Joe Brady and that they'll be good enough with Joe Burrow that they don't. It's basically the Aaron Rodgers McCarthy thing where the coach looks good because the quarterback is so good and it just never gets lifted up. I think that's more of what it would be. And sure enough, we drop down to 14. That sucks. We can still win the Big Ten though, guys. And still get another Rose Bowl. Let's see what happened. How did we lose to Maryland? That is what I was afraid of. Jack Barr got hurt. That is exactly what I was afraid of. At least we have a good excuse. But, I mean, you get down to your third string quarterback and he's a walk-on, you can only do so much. Um, I mean, he's a 50 overall quarterback. So that explains that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that just sucks. It just sucks. Defense tried their best, but it was not enough. Especially when you're out, you're starting running back too. That just, that just sucks. 